stop wasting your strawberry tops and make strawberry top syrup. It's really simple. I'm gonna teach you how to make and can strawberry top syrup today, but we're gonna put a little twist on it and we're gonna add strawberry lemonade strawberry top syrup. I froze all my strawberry tops because I was going on vacation and I didn't have a chance to get to it. So we just took it out of the freezer. You can freeze them until you have enough strawberry tops or you can just make them right after you cut them. First thing we're gonna do is get our water bath canner and we're gonna fill our jars in our water bath canner, fill it with water, put a little splash of vinegar, and we're gonna get this boiling to sterilize our jars. Now we're gonna take a pot. I'm gonna do a really big batch, so I have a really big pot. This is actually my pressure canner but you can use a smaller pot if you're making a smaller batch. Now we're gonna add everything to our pots. You need your strawberry tops, lemonade juice, and sugar. I'm doing a really big batch, but you're gonna do four cups of strawberry tops, three cups of sugar, three cups of water, and two cups of lemon juice, and then you could double it or triple it however much you want. Turn your heat up and we're gonna let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna let it boil for 12 minutes. So make sure you keep an eye on it, make sure you're stirring it, you don't want it to burn. So I have it on about medium heat and you wanna make sure that you're stirring every once in a while and keep an eye on it because once it starts boiling, like I said, you're gonna want to set the timer for 12 minutes. Take our jars out now, they are hot. Remember that we're putting hot jars in a hot water bath canner and you wanna put hot liquid in a hot jar. If you put hot liquid in a cold jar and into like a cold water bath canner, it could crack the jar. Now that this is done, we're gonna take all the strawberries in the foam and we're gonna take that and put it in a separate bowl. You wanna make sure you strain it all out before putting everything in the jar. I'm going to be using pint sized jars for this and you can use any size you like. This is the size I used last year, but I find that we uh, like it a lot and I usually have to open two of these at a time. So I'm going to be doing pint size this year. After your jars are all full, you're going to take some vinegar and a clean towel, put the vinegar on the towel and you're going to wipe all the rims to make sure you have a good seal. ready to put our jars in the canner so depending on the size of the jar and where you live is depending on how long you're gonna cook it we're gonna put our cans in the canner let it come to a roiling boil and we're gonna cook them for 15 minutes this is where I live and I'm using pint sized jars now that it's at a roiling boil we're gonna set our timer for 15 minutes in 15 minutes we're gonna turn the heat off Take the lid off, let it sit for five minutes before we take the jars out. Now that it's been five minutes, we're gonna take all the jars out and put them on the counter on a towel and let them sit overnight for 24 hours. And that is how you make strawberry lemonade concentrate 